Hi, Diana here with uh, www.quiltcraft.com and uh, today, as you can see at the starting of the video, we're going to talk about thimbles. And I'm going to turn on my pendant lamp because this is something everybody needs for all their projects. But let's go ahead and talk about thimbles. I have a group here. These are the old standby metal thimbles. Then we have the you know plastic silicone type thimbles. And then we have the leather thimbles. So let's talk about the metal ones first. The metal thimbles here, uh, the best one always to get is to go back and go with the original one here. It's got the nice deep dimples in it. Um, it's got dimples on the top. It can control your needle real well. One of my least favorites is this one here with the ridge around it because the reason it's got the ridge around it is so the needle doesn't slip. But if you have a thimble with dimples in it, then whenever you put the needle in there, it's going to hold it and it doesn't need to slip. So that's the difference between uh, these two types of thimbles. Of course, this one here is a great thimble. Um, of course, you have to work the side of it off, but this one's hard to come by. These are these ones are hard to get these days, can't find them anymore. But if you see the dimple indentation on this, it's just absolutely excellent. If all thimbles were like that, you would never buy anything but these metal ones. Uh, another nice one, if you're not used to um, having your finger completely in a thimble, then you can go with these ones. These were put out by Roxanne International a long time ago, and they got nice dimples on the side. Again, you can only use this thimble on the side, uh, but this is a pretty high-end thimble, pretty expensive. Uh, so if you don't like to pay the expensive money, then let's go with this one that Clover put out, and this is nice. It's another exactly like this one, except it doesn't come in all the sizes as this one does. This one here only comes in two sizes, uh, small and medium. They do run rather uh, small. Definitely not for a large finger. Even though it expands, it's really not going to help you out in the large uh, finger department. And another one, this one's just... I don't know, you know, there's nothing really to say about this one other than it's a, it's a thread cutter and a combo thimble. It's got some dimple indentations in there, so it'll work. If you're going to be on an airplane and you don't want to take your scissors, this one here is a good fix for that type of a problem. You can cut your thread and, uh, you know, quilt or sew or whatever, you know, all at the same time. Now let's go on to um, my silicone thimbles, which these ones... I like a lot, but first, you know what, I need to thread my needle here so I can show it to you on a quilting cream. So I'm going to use, I showed it in my previous hand quilting video, uh, the desk threader. It's always a good one to have. Take your needle, drop it in there. Remember, don't put your finger on the point. And then we're going to take our thread, going to cut it using the threader, going to stick it right in the little crack right there and push down on it and pull it out and it's amazing. Every time it does that, I don't know how they find the eye of that needle, but it does. And then of course I'm going to have to make a knot, but this thread's not going to be long enough to probably do anything with it. We'll see here. So I'm making my knot. So now let's go with these. I really like these new ones that came out by Clover because they got the nice dimples on the top even though they do have the ridge on it but they still have dimples on the top but they're very comfortable for your finger in general. So I like that a lot and I'll show you here whenever you go to use it you put it on top Gonna go in there, take a stitch. Again, can do that old rocky motion, and you can see how that holds it really well. Now, the one that I learned how to hand quilt on is an old time favorite by everybody out there, and this one here is exactly like this one. <laughs> And this one, in fact, this one here, the pink plastic one, was the original one. These ones have all copied the plastic one. This is a cheapy one. You regularly can find them for maybe a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. But anyway, it's nice because it has great deep dimples on the top. But the drawback is, is that it doesn't have any dimples on the side. So you're only, whenever you're going to be hand quilting, you can only use the end of the thimble and you can't use the side. So you're kind of kind of stuck there in the way that you can use this particular one. But this is great if you're going to do just the bindings on your quilt. This is really an excellent thimble for the price especially. Uh, another silicone type one that came out recently. Uh, this one's been out probably about three years now. And I've sold a lot of these. A lot of women really like them. And it works good. It doesn't have any dimples on it. But it, as you can see, it works just good. 
The needle does have a tendency to slip around a little bit on it though, and I imagine whenever you start using it a lot, you keep pricking at it, it'll be fine. Now some women ask me, well, you know, I don't want to buy it because it's the... Uh, needle going to go through the top of this thimble. They do have an extra layer I don't know if you can see it there they do have an extra layer of uh, silicone plastic up there so it isn't as thin as it looks but eventually it will go through it will go through. But like all metal thimbles you keep using them all the time they're all going to uh, wear out. Uh, the next one, it's in the same family. These two are made by the same manufacturer. This one here definitely has an extra top on it. Looks like probably about a quarter of an inch thickness there. And that one there, the same thing. Oops, I'm going, oh man, I'm going to push it through there. Pull on it there. Same thing as you can see. You just put your needle on, or thimble on top. Do the rocking motion, and there it goes. And you can see that one works really well, too. If you really learn to work with a thimble, once you learn how to work with it, it should be no problem for you to really pick up any thimble and use them. My least favorite thimbles is the leather thimbles over here, with the exception of the little pad right here. Uh, the rest of these, this is an old-time favorite for everybody. I just, I, I just, you know, the leather thimbles always seem to, the needle always goes through them. Uh, this leather ring... This is okay. You can use this, you know, as a thimble, but it just doesn't feel as comfortable to me. Oops. But you can use a leather ring thimble now is great if you're going to put it on your thumb and you want to quilt going in a different direction because, you know, we always have to whenever you're hand quilting. you got a quilt going away from you. So then I just put this on my thumb, stand it on top of the needle, the coolest thing. Then you take your, just reverse your finger positions, index finger in front, stand it back up, index finger in front again and go ahead and push that through there but what I don't like about a leather ring thimble on my thumb is it's a little bit harder you see I can't grip onto my my needle as well because this thing's in the way so the, my favorite one that came out quite a few years ago is the leather thimble pads and the leather thimble pad is great because if you don't like any thimbles at all you can stick it on your thumb and it's really thin but you know what it's pretty strong and you can go ahead and push the needle all the way through and then you can grip onto your needle at the same time when it comes out the other way so I really like the leather uh, thimble pad I'm gonna stand it up again whoops I'm trying to here I'm gonna stand it up again see the leather pad on my thumb I just stuck it on there gonna lay it down Again, going to go ahead and see how easy that works. It's not in your way. It doesn't get in the way. I'm going to push it through. I'm able to pull it out. And what's nice about the leather pad, if you don't like any of these symbols that I've shown, you can always take the leather pad and stick it on your middle finger. Uh, most of the time, most people use their middle finger for uh, hand quilting, but the index finger is fine too if it, you get used to that one. I can go either way. And as you can see, using that is just great. Look at those tiny stitches I got going there. So anyway, after you do that, the other ones, of course, is the old time favorite. A lot of women... I've sold so many of these over the years. The nimble thimble, where your fingernail sticks out that, out the end of it. But it's got a little plate here, so... You know, the needle will hit that all the time, but sooner or later this wears out. Probably the best leather ones to get are put out by Clover, of course, because they put out all the great products. Um, they've got this new nice leather one out here that's uh, very comfortable, feels really good. They actually got the seams where they've sewed them on the side towards the bottom there so they're not hitting the side of your finger. And let's see, I haven't ever tried to quilt with this one before, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to put that on there, and uh, come on. I can feel that needle. That's not going to be the best way. I probably got it backwards. Maybe I got it. Maybe if I turn it around, I'm not going to feel it as good. Let's see. Maybe I had it on backwards here. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to stand the needle straight up, feel the point, give it a little push. Yeah, there we go. I had it on backwards. Sorry about that. That feels pretty good. This one's nice, but I do have to tell you, it does come in three sizes, but even though this is a large, my finger is a medium. So if you have a finger that's bigger than a medium, even the large ones by Clover is not going to fit your finger because these run really small. And then the last one here is, this one's pretty good too. This one here is also by Clover, and this one has a nice metal uh, plate in there. So, of course, you know, it's going to work just like a thimble. 
put it on. It's all about comfort, really. Whenever you're getting a thimble, look at those tiny stitches. That one worked really great. See that? Then you can push that thing through there and then pull it out. And that's it. So whenever you're out there shopping for thimbles, there's a lot of varieties to choose from. The main thing is, is that you want to get used to, to wearing it. You want to get used to feeling it on your finger. And the only way to do that is you put it on, just keep it on there, and keep pushing. Lots of times whenever ladies are beginning to learn how to use a thimble, they'll put it on their middle finger, and then they'll go back and they'll use their, their, uh, their index finger. Don't do that. Just go ahead and struggle with it for a while. And after you struggle with it for a little bit, then sooner or later you're going to get the hang of it. And then after you learn how to wear that thimble, you're really going to enjoy your quilting and putting on your binding and, you know, applique and all that stuff a lot more. So that's it for today, and you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the internet.